My All name right. is Piotr Muszyński <laughs> and I will be chairing today's meeting. Um, I'm an uh, uh, entrepreneur in telecommunication and IT, uh, and I have uh, two uh, distinguished uh, uh, members of this committee with me, Barbara and Piotr. They will introduce themselves. Hello, Szymon. Barbara Mister Skadragan, president of Polish Chamber of Auditor. I'm auditor and I'm president myself, audit company. Hello. Hello, Szymon. Piotr Kamiński. I am the, the chairman of the foundation. I uh, replace uh, Cezary, who was before me in this place, but uh, he has uh, a lot of things to do. And now uh, it's uh, uh, my time to, 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 to evaluate you. Uh, nice to meet you. You too. Thank you. Okay, so after those presentations, uh, we'll give the floor to you. Um, you have uh, five minutes for your presentation. Uh, then we'll be asking you uh, the questions, a couple of questions, and then we'll give you a feedback. Altogether, the slot has 15 minutes, out of which we have two left. Okay, so may I start? Yes, please. So, my name is Simon Stieber. I'm from 13 High School in Szczecin. Mm -hmm. And I, I extend mathematics and physics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to tell you something about my passions. What do I do in my free time and why I'm here? So um, I love reading books. I read like one book per week, uh, mostly in English. I think it's a good way to learn this beautiful language. Um, also, I do calisthenics and Muay Thai. I work out almost every day, but I can tell you most of the time I program. So um, I can tell you, for example, that last week I finished my face recognition project because I'm AI focused. Um, I'm planning to tweak it a little bit and make an emotion recognition project. I know it won't be easy, but I'm not afraid. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, on what I spend most of my free time on. Mm, also in school, uh, I'm preparing lessons and problems in Python, the most popular programming language in in the world, for students in my school uh, using MIT resources available on their website. Mm -hmm. Also, together with my IT teacher. We are preparing a series of lectures um, specifically on deep learning. So how it works, where it is used, how to write such a program, and uh, a couple of task, tasks to, uh, to do in home. Um, and um, why I'm here? I firmly believe that this scholarship is the best place to find young, ambitious, Polish students to work with them because I've always wanted to utilize my skills, my passions to help others. I have always wanted to make a program that will uh, detect breast cancer early. And I think that maybe there I will find uh, some other enthusiasts that uh, would, would love to work with me. Um, also, my second passion is uh, engineering. Together with my three friends, I'm making a glider for a competition. And it requires, obviously, a lot of physics and aerodynamics knowledge. And believe me or not, IT knowledge came handy too, because two days ago, I had to learn in one day how to use an advanced aerodynamics simulation program and uh, make a simulation. Mm, it went pretty well. It wasn't easy, but I never give up, uh, I can tell you. Mm, and obviously, it's, it's lovely to see that mm, science, physics, and so on isn't only on the paper, in the computer, but in, practi in practice too, in real life. Mm, that's why I'm also a leader of uh, um, of physics shows in my school. 
so I coordinate a large group of physics savvy students and uh, we make uh, experiments that we then uh, show to other people in our school, outside the school. For example, right now, uh, I'm working on a cloud chamber and it is basically a particle detector. It's, uh, <laughs> I wish you could see, <laughs> you could see it. Mm, and a little, mm, and a little story because my first show was like a month ago on the open days in my school. And after the show, a complete stranger, I suppose a parent of one of uh, the applicants for our school approached me and said, Hey, I thank you for, thank you for this show. I wish I had known before that I love physics. Uh, <laughs> so it was really heartwarming to uh, hear that someone because of your passion and of, uh, of you fostering it, um, found it in himself. Thank you once again for listening to me and I'm ready for your questions. Mm. Thank you very much for your presentation. We'll give the floor to Barbara to start the questions. Yes, I have questions because very interesting presentation. But my question is, what do you think about uh, ar ar artificial intelligence in your field? It is uh, uh, applicable? Uh, in my, once again? What do you think about uh, AI, art artificial intelligence mm -hmm. in your field? Oh. Your brain? It's, so, uh, it is uh, applicable. Yes, yes. So I have always wanted to uh, use AI in healthcare, I can tell you. <laughs> and there's a lot of places I, I, it can be applicable. For example, uh, Stanford Research Institute is working on a program that will help uh, make um, doctor appointments through your phone. So, you know, yes. it's sometimes not easy for a doctor to recognize what's wrong. And this program might help uh, doctors, you know, uh, recognizing by um, by the patient's, uh, patient's history and what he's, what he's saying, uh, that it may help him uh, apply the right treatment. I, I can <laughs> count numerous <laughs> fields where it can be used, but you know, we don't have time, but that's, that's one of it. Yes, thank you. And Shimon, and uh, uh, you read a lot of books. Yes, yes. You have a lot of plans. What do you see yourself in five years? Oh, I will not. Or then? Future. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I see myself uh, being an owner of a startup. Uh, ah, yes. Business. Business, yeah, but specified on uh, healthcare and AI. So, um, because startup is a very good way to collect money, to develop your idea, to just make a world a better place. So, uh, that's why I want to go to the Silicon Valley because it's it's a perfect place for uh, for initiatives like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you have a question. Simon, um, you told us that you, you, you are reading a lot. Yes. Uh, who is your favorite author and why? Um, <laughs> I think Dan, Bra Dan Brown. Dan Brown. <laughs> Dan Brown. Uh, yeah, Dan Brown, yes. Uh, my favorite book mm -hmm. is The Da Vinci Code mm -hmm. because uh, he has this special ability to mix history with mm -hmm. our modern world and some secrets that we aren't aware of. Um, it's like, re really thrilling to uh, hear all these uh, stories based on like real on things that happen. You know, that's why it's my favorite author. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And uh, if you go to the Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. you will come back to Szczecin. Uh, you will come back to, to your uh, college. Uh, what would you like to 
uh, to, to, to say your friends, your colleagues from, from the college, and how would you like to, to, to share your experience? So, first things first, I would like to tell them that um, nothing, is, nothing is impossible and you have to be brave, you have to be self-confident, and you can do big things with, um, with things you have uh, right now. So you don't need a lot of money, you don't need a um, big team of uh, the most intelligent people in the world to make a difference. And I think in our school, uh, students can make big things. So um, Silicon Valley is, is a tool that can help doing this. But we all should um, do, um, we should do the best to um, help ourselves, to help the community using things we have. So that's what I think. Thank you. Thank you very much. So tell me, please, um, do you know who is the most popular idol among the youngsters who are part participating in this contest? Um, uh, I watched several uh, videos from uh, the year before, and I suppose it's Marie Curie. <laughs> Now, so now in the three words, because you also uh, gave uh, uh, an example of Maria Kiris Kodowska as an idol. Three words. Why? Why this is so uh, popular? And where, where is the phenomena of Maria Kiris Kodowska <laughs> among the youngsters that they are choosing her as an idol? Yes, this is interesting. She, she persevered hard. I can tell you. Uh, that's what I think, because Marie Curie um, persevered like all, 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 all the time to achieve, uh, achieve her goals, to explore, to, um, to develop science, and she, she was really devoted. I think that's, that's what, uh, that's what uh, really impressive in her, her devotion, her perseverance. Thank you very much for that explanation. Uh, we're running out of time, so I'll not ask you a second question. I'll give the floor to my colleagues for the short resume and the feedback to you. Okay. Barbara, please. I think this is very interesting meeting with you. Uh, I think that you have a lot of uh, patience. You read a lot of books. You haven't afraid. Uh, are you a leader? Uh, uh, you have a lot of successful. Uh, you're playing of the owner of the startup. Very interesting challenges and plans. And I'm sure you will be able to make success in future. Congratulations. I think things. Thank you. It's a pleasure to hear that. Yes. Thank you very much. Shimon, you, um, you have a soul of entrepreneur and you uh, are very concrete what you would like to, uh, to achieve in your life. Uh, you read a lot and it is wonderful. It is very important for the, 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 to be for the human being to, 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 to develop uh, yourself in different dimensions. Uh, one comment from my side, not everything what is in books written, uh, every time is true for yeah. this reason. We need to read the books to understand better uh, how to think and how to find the true in our life. Thank you very much for our meeting. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you as well. I I think that everything what you are saying about artificial intelligence and deep learning is very close to me uh, because I did what you are planning to do. I, I had a two startups in AI and uh, deep learning. Uh, <laughs> of course, not as a, not, not as a co-founder, but a young, very young scientist. And I can tell you, hard job 
and you have to spend next five years of your life to be prepared for a lot of challenges which uh, such an idea will bring on you. Um, uh, and I hope that you will be strong enough to learn and prepare yourself for the successes. So keep on running. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Goodbye. Have a good day. Thank you very Bye. much. Thank you.